Seen the remote? Uh, hold on a second. Hey, here's the extra remote. Uh, have you seen our flux capacitor? We need a fucking vacation after all the time we spent in the clink. Fuck flying. I'm not, I'm not messing around with gremlins and UH lozenges again. No, I haven't seen the spare flux capacitor. Maybe... Jake, can you get the door? I'm trying to help us travel through time. Why don't you get the door? I'm trying to program the DVR right now. Meet the Roommates is on tonight. Hi, guys. Steph Maniac? Beck, we got some royalty visiting us. Oh, yeah. Queen of Zombie Island of Sardinia. Not that I'm not happy to see you, but uh, what are you doing here? Well, I was in town for the United Nations Wraith Conference. What the hell's a wraith? Like Charlie Sheen movie? Well, when I went to the conference, Donald Trump was there, so I think he's a wraith. <laughs> but what but do they, they do? So <laughs> what do they sound like? They kind of sound like... <laughs> <laughs> so they just breathe a little weird? Yeah, and they screech when they fly away. Oh, okay, okay. I had some political shit I had to do. Well, come on in. The show's just about to start. R-U-H. Some drink to remember, some drink to forget, and some drink to blast away those first two. We are back together again, and with me as always is... Back Maniac. And our old pal... Steffi Maniac. Welcome. So, Steffi, how's it uh, going being the zombie queen of Sardinia? Well, basically, um, everyone that's left alive over there hates me. Why? Uh, I ate a lot of the population. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so the other zombies are starving? Yeah, they're they're probably getting pretty hungry. We're, our population got very low. Oh, wow. Do you have to squash any revolts or anything? No, we got it under control, but I have a poster of myself like in every village and town with my face on it. Like a wanted poster? Yes. Oh, man. Like Big Brother. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. So I have to kind of hide out, stalk at certain times, get my meals in. <laughs> so, Steffi... What kind of laws have you legislated for the zombie populace? I did it pretty simple because um, there's not many people left. So I just basically put in like humans can keep their life if they just give me a limb like at a time. So they oh. lose a limb and then um, I even would do a toe or a finger because that kind of sustains me at this point. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, you're a hybrid. Yeah. So I don't need a lot to eat at this point. I think you that I'm in uh, ketosis or something. <laughs> Do you use any <laughs> hot sauce or barbecue sauce or anything? Honey mustard? Yeah, Sardinia is not famous for hot sauce. You know, it's Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh, or okay. Whatever. A little Parmesan on yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, finger but, Parmesan. So I'm assuming <laughs> it would already smell rank there from the decay. Oh, uh, yeah, on the hot days, which is every day, <laughs> except maybe in the winter. It was really hot this year. If anyone caught the news, it was like 100 for weeks and weeks and weeks. Oh. Does zombies sweat? Um, yeah, we're just, I'm just like regular people. I sweat. Sometimes <laughs> there's blood mixed in with it. <laughs> okay. And scab. And pus. Yeah. Yeah. If things start rotting away, patch it up a little bit, you know, <laughs> spray some <laughs> Febreze on me. All right. Well, in honor of our guest, our long lost sister in, let's do an Adrovia. Cheers. 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 I'm going to crack it open. All right. Whoa. Oh, whoa. <coughs> Jeez, man. Uh, that was a fireball shot, by the way. Oh, really? The bodegas, they sell fireball shots in Southern Comfort in all the bodegas. I don't know what the deal is. Oh. So I grabbed a fireball to wake me up a little bit. The little tiny uh, airplane bottles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drink of the day, the wormhole. Enter the tunnel and get ready for a space-time hangover. Strong enough to fuel a DeLorean, smooth enough to calm the nerves while in the fourth spatial dimension. Start with a Collins glass, add Campari on ice. Don't forget Midori to sweeten your voyage. Round it out with a splash of tonic to go supersonic. 
No time will be lost. Calculated light years ahead in the future. Theories of relativity traverse the past. The wormhole will bring you to hyperspace where there will be minimal time dilation. Enjoy the libation. Cheers. Hey, Steph, your feet work, right? Yeah, do us a solid. Okay, I got it. You two are lazier than me, and I'm a zombie hybrid. Yeah, well, we're old and our backs hurt. Hey, Snaker, come on in. Are you here to snake their toilet again? Sneaker isn't here for work. Sneaker on break. Sneaker has something for the maniacs. Well, 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 come on in, my scaly friend, you slimy Judas bastard. Snaker, Disaster isn't even here right now, if that's who you came to woo with your non-movable eyelids. What do you and your one lung want to talk about? Snaker no mean to hurt your feelings on the witness stand. Snaker doing his civic duty. Defamation! Benedict Snaker! You know what, Snaker? What? I'm going to eat Taco Bell with fire sauce all day with a side of greasy pepperoni pizza. And I'm going to top that off with some bratwurst and sauerkraut. And when I break my plunger trying to fix the toilet, I'm going to give you a call because that's your job. Uh, uh, fair enough. Snaker mess up. Yeah, you did. Well, uh, Snaker just want to give you peace offering. Snaker want to put the water under the bridge. Here's a present for use. Oh, word. Hurry up already. Yeah, hurry up, Jay. Yeah, hurry up, Jay. I'm not the one who wrapped this thing. Oh, shit, it's a flux capacitor. Should we forgive Snaker? It depends. I don't even know for what. Dum, 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 umbrellaholics. I can see by the caller ID it's your old lady. I'll get it. I wonder where she is now. Hey, Dizzy, uh, you're, you're not in my arcade, are you? Hi, it's, it's Disastra. Yeah, I know. Where are you? I'm in the freezer eating some ice cream. I have a question for Stuff Maniac. Okay, I, I'm right here. Okay, you have to clean vomit from the vomitorium, you know, in Pompeii days, for seven years. Or you have to fight three highly skilled berserker Vikings, and they are more skillfulest than all the other berserkers. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Bye. Okay, for one, I don't know what a berserker is. So for me, I kind of understand what a vomitorium is. Mm. And that sounds pretty messy and gross. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for but sure. But what is a berserker? Jay, do you want to take it? They are the biggest and strongest. And when they fight, they go completely fucking crazy like Wolverine and just destroy Murder. everybody. I don't know if I want to clean up puke f for seven years, though. <laughs> I think I'd like to get my life over with. <laughs> so I'll pick the Vikings. I'd take on the Vikings take my chances wow you're going up against a berserk well steph does have the karate skills yeah and well. she can maybe hybrid zombie out on them and take them down well. that could work or i could play dead <laughs> wait, until <laughs> wait until you look like, oh, you, you look dead right yeah. <laughs> That's true. i think i'd have to go with the vomitorium if that was for me because there's no way i would be going up against a berserker i'd be dead yeah i'm doing the vomitorium too because as everybody knows i can't smell so it would it wouldn't oh, be a problem yeah it worked perfect for you i had to clean up vomit the other day so. oh from who oh a little kid on my bus oh what mm -hmm. they puke all the time on the bus not with me all the time, but you hear at least every day at work, someone gets a kid puking on the bus. Oh. They oh. puke and pee a lot, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's I've great. had one pee once. It ran all the way down to the end of the bus. Oh, <laughs> and those little great, like the little lines going. Not the middle. Yeah, it wasn't the middle part. It was underneath the seats. It just ran down. Does it smell like maple syrup? <laughs> <laughs> Little kids, they eat enough Fruit Loops in the morning. It probably has a little bit nice sweet, yeah. sweet diabetic smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns your poop different colors too. Really? Wow. Yeah. So it's not really fruity pebbles. 
We get a nice green color. Yeah, like fluorescent for sure. <laughs> I don't remember it doing that to us as kids. No. But, no. But maybe we didn't examine our poop as much as kids. Did we you look at your to. poop when you were a kid? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> that was so sincere. Did you look at your poop when you were a kid? <laughs> It's weird because I'll look now because I look at it as a sign of health. Right. You know, I'm like, <laughs> do you have a poop if, chart in the bathroom? Yeah. No, there's <laughs> not. But I, I've memorized them in my head. I okay. know which ones are the good ones. Right. You okay. know, the white ones are really scary. <laughs> yeah. That's wait. What do you mean white? Really you had white? I've had white. It's liver that's, damage. Yeah. Calcium. Yeah. Deposit. A white turd. Yeah. It was like as light. Like it was devoid of color. Pretty much. Oh. It was a like cream colored. And I'm like, what's going on here? And then I realized I was having liver problems. <laughs> Oh my when god. When my gallbladder was bad, I had lighter color. Yeah. While oh. we're talking about shit right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's all we do, Steph, is talk shit. <laughs> we're at that age. <laughs> So let's start things off with a little bit of a game. You versus Steffi. It's called Real versus Fake Royal Edition. So I'm going to give you, we're going to start off with Kings. Then we're going to go to Queens and go to Dictators. And you got to guess the real from the fake. Highest score wins. And let's do the first one. So this is Kings. Okay. Your two choices are King Hamish the Brave or King William Rufus. You go ahead, Steph. I'm, you're our guest. So I don't know. King, King Hamish. I'm going to go with King Rufus. <laughs> it is Rufus. Back, <laughs> back one, nothing. Yes. All right. Your second one is George, King of the Highlands, or Theodric, Knight of the Astrogoths. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Astrogoths because it sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll go with the other one. It's the Astrogoths. Wow. One to one. Wow. I know, right? right. Good. Uh, number three, Justonian the first Byzantine Empire or Shu Ping, fifth Mongolian Empire. I'm going to go with the first one. I'm going to go with Shu Ping. <laughs> it's not Shu Ping. Damn it. <laughs> Stuff, it's another point. <laughs> Shu, Shu Ping. <laughs> It sounded legit. <laughs> I know. It just rolled off the top of my head. I went, oh, I started laughing. I'm like, that sounds legit, dude. The fourth and last of the kings, Ronaldo II of Rosteric or Alfonso III of Asturias? I'll go with Alfonso. I'm going to go with the first one. Steph is up three to one. Oh my gosh, it, I'm bad at this. It was Alfonso. <laughs> I cannot start the season off by losing. <laughs> I know. Okay, we're moving on to Queens. We got four in the Queen section, three to one, Steph. Your first choice is Good Queen Maud or Majesty Kind Mary. I'll go with Maud. I'm going to agree with Maud on that one. Yes. It was Maud. Now Becky's going to agree with me with everything, no. so she wins. <laughs> Hey, let's go to the casino stuff, and I'm just going to place my bet where you put it. <laughs> First choice, Empress Matilda, Empress Anicetus. Matilda. Anicetus. Four to one, Steffi. It was Matilda. <gasps> Anicetus is one of my nuns, Sister Anicetus. <laughs> <laughs> Did she have a crooked finger? Uh, she was the one that had crooked eyes so when she would oh. turn around and point you we would be like me him <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know who was in trouble dude we had a teacher like that was mr car c car oh right? don't you remember him in yeah middle school? but he didn't have twisted eyes yeah no he would he had one wandering eye so you never knew if he was what? looking at you not when i was in there i don't know maybe it happened when i maybe got he had a then. stroke by before you got in <laughs> what was this dude's name again mr, mr. Carr. car we had two mr cars in middle school one was k car like and seek oh my car. god there's a real thing called a k car right, right. i guess <laughs> there is yeah yeah <laughs> yep <laughs> oh our fucked up teachers all right let's move on it's uh what four to one here's your next two choices okay sienna the second of venice margaret the first of denmark margaret i'm gonna go with the venice 
Five to one, Steph, it was Margaret. Oh, my God. See, I'm just trying to be different. I'm just going to go with my gut then. And if it's the same as Steph, it's the same as Steph. <laughs> <laughs> you can still catch up. It's five choose, to one. You choose first. All right. Okay. Here's the last in the Queens. Isabel of Castile or Saoirse the First of Wales Rift? Uh, I'm going to go with the first one. That's what I was going to go with as well. It's still five to one. It is the first one. All right. Isabel, Sersha was uh, Sersha Ronan. Ronan. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, these are dictators, and I got them from the scariest list. So these were some scary dictators, okay? Okay. Your first one is Timor, and your second one is... <laughs> Okay, hold on. Your first one is Timor, and your second one is Thalsa Doom. Well, the way you were laughing, I feel like you're going to throw me off, so I'm going to go with that weird Doom one. I have no idea. I'm literally guessing. I don't have a gut feeling on this. Uh huh. Yeah. I'll go with the first one, Timor. Six to one. <laughs> it was Timor. <laughs> oh my God. I, even going first, I can't get this. <laughs> Felsa Doom was James Earl Jones, the the villain in Conan the Barbarian with Arnold. <laughs> he turns into a snake and everything. So what? Yeah, I don't remember all of that? Oh Me my neither. Gosh. Did yeah. you now? How did you did you recall that? And you're like, oh, I'm going to use these characters, or did you just discover them along the way? No, we used to, you know, we played Dungeons and Dragons, and we would watch these movies as a kid, and we would just screw around with the different names. And I always remember Felsa Doom. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, because it sounded so cool, you know. Well, I don't mean to interrupt, but there yeah. was this thing that I had seen and it was like a story about in, in Liberia and in Africa and a lot of the kind of like drug lords or warlords. And there was a guy named General Butt Naked. <laughs> I think I saw it on a Vice drama or something. Oh my so God. to me, to have a name like Thalsa Doom, I thought, oh, maybe this is in Liberia. <laughs> It was one of those like general butt naked type names. I like yeah. that. General butt naked. <laughs> <laughs> Your second one of the dictators, two choices, Saytaz or Vlad the Third. Mm, this is me, right? This is so hard because I know there was a Vlad. I'm going to go with Vlad the Third. Me as well. I don't know anything about Saytaz. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remain tied. There is no Saytaz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> I just wrote S A Y dash T A Z. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so it's still five to one. I don't know, six to one, maybe six I... to one. Yeah. Okay. Next choices are Vladimir Lenin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it fucking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's giving it away. Okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> Vladimir Lenin or Comrade Telsky? Mm, well, there was a Lenin and a Vladimir, mm. but I'm going to go with Telsky. I'll go with Lenin. Lenin yeah. <laughs> it's seven to one. There is no Comrade Telsky. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing mind games with me now. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. This is what I was doing last night, dude. I couldn't fucking even write straight. I was laughing too hard at these. Okay. The next one is <laughs> Huang Shi Quinn or Quinn Shi Huang. <laughs> Quinn Shi Wang. <laughs> what are we laughing? Was that the second one? I don't yeah. know. What yeah. was just, they're okay. just reversed. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll go with the they're just ones. reversed. I have no idea. <laughs> so she's, go, she's going with Wang. I'm going with Quinn. <laughs> she's up eight to one. Oh my God. I'm not doing it on purpose because I, I think a few sounded familiar, but I have no idea. Me neither. It's just luck. Okay. For one bonus one, Steffi won the game. Would you? This is Princess. It's a bonus. Would you say Jadwiga or Dianis? I'm going to go with Dionys. I think it's Dionys. It's like sounds like Dionysus or something. Right. No, it was the first no. one. Oh. oh, it was? Yeah. That's a weird one. That I know. Really weird. <laughs> and, and that was real versus fake royal edition. As usual, because we don't want to be like Brundlefly, we have to test this shit out. We don't want to be soup. Unfortunately, it looks like Snaker gave us the generic Acme knockoff bootleg fell off the truck capacitor. So we can only travel to the past. Do it up. But uh, maybe let's try a phone call first so we don't get obliterated by Snaker's janky flux capacitor. 1982, here we come. Oh, 
uh, Lionel Kitty City. This is Blaine Brock Bradley speaking. How can I help you? Uh, I noticed you have some Atari games and systems on the shelves. You know, a couple left. Just wanted to know if you could uh, set that aside for me. Uh, give me a Space Invaders, Miss Pac-Man, a Frogger, and a system. And uh, would that be all right? Oh, yeah. Set it aside. Like, as in, uh, take some of my business away from myself, my money, from a customer who's actually here for some dipshit on the phone. Oh, yeah, no problem. We'll do that. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Fucking asshole. But, you know, I'd really like one. Uh, I asked Santa for an Atari with us. Oh, a... you asked Santa. You asked... Well, then why, why are you even calling me in the first place, Sunshine? Why don't you just call Santa? Call the North Pole. Let me see if I can look up the number for you. It's 1-800-COME-DOWN-HERE-AND-GIVE-ME-MONEY. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'd like a white huffy with the red tires and the red grips. Can you just save that, put it to the side, or, you know, put it on layaway? Can I put it on layaway? Yes, I have such a thing, so that means you must have been here. When you were here, you should have given me cash in my hand, and I would have held on to it for you. That's how it works, sweetheart. But everyone wants one. Could you just set it aside? You can want what you want. I can want the moon to be made of cheese. I would want for women to be attracted to me. I would want to have children. But no, I deal with children. So what can I tell you? Come down here, put money in my hand, and I will hold on to your bike for you, okay? So I take it that's a maybe? No, you're really not listening. Get your ass down here, give me money, and I'll hold on to whatever you want for three days. I'd really like some Cabbage Patch dolls and Star Wars figures. They're going to be collectibles in the future. Uh, Cabbage Patch dolls and Star Wars figures? Kid, (laughs) everyone's buying those right now. Those are not going to be collector items. But, okay. But but what? Are you trying to make money? Are you investment? Or do you want to play with little dollies? Because you want to play with little dollies, I got a Susie Wetzer pants for you. If you could kindly set those aside for me so I don't have to. Kindly? Kindly. Oh, the universe works on kindness. Let me tell you how kind the universe has been to me. I was born with a hair lip and a club foot. Okay? I had to struggle every day to get where I am today. And you know where I am today? On the phone with a little snotty nose kid like you asking me about Cabbage Patch and Star Wars. I'm going to talk to your manager and get you fired. Oh, you're going to get me fired from my own store. You fucking kids. Uh. Hey, Scott. Scott, Scotty, put that down. Stop what you're doing. You're doing something productive. But these children here on the phone, they have a better idea. Yeah, you go run in the back and put the following items on hold. A bicycle, some cabbage patch dolls, a Star Wars figurine, some Atari games. Put that on hold. No, I don't care if a customer here wants to buy it. I got these kids on the phone. They need these things to be held for them because they think I got a fucking hole in my head and my brains are leaking out. So come here with a mop and clean this shit up. You kids are what's bringing this country down. Steffi, where do you want to go? I think I want to see ancient Rome. Shake and bake. What is that? Is that is that a poltergeist? Beck, we got a poltergeist. I think Snaker's bootleg flux capacitor summoned Beelzebubba. Who's there? The power of Christ compels you! In nomine Padre et Fili et Spiritu Santi. Yeah, Spiritu Santi. Bismela. There is no demon, but there are 13 ghosts on board currently. Ha <laughs> ha. Kidding. I am bro65000. Hey, bro. How's it hanging, brah? All right, calm down, you cunts. Energy is low from this jive-ass capacitor. To Rome 39 AD we go. What's going on in 39 AD? Let's just see what happens. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> I think it worked. We're here. Oh no. I forgot about the radiation, how it automatically changes you into a hybrid undead. You know nothing. (laughs) (laughs) I hate when this happens. I feel like shit when this happens. Kind of like a hangover, huh, Steffi? It's the worst. Worst? (laughs) Looks like we're in uh, ancient Rome, but there's a big ass party. What's going on here? Excuse uh, me, uh, do you know where uh, we are and uh, what year it is? Uh? You're in 39. 39 of what? Uh? 39 Paisan, oh. and that's a Caligula's palace in the distance. Since he took over, it's been a party. Uh. <laughs> Guys, I think we should get some robes or we're going to stand out. I agree. Still might know they found me. <laughs> Hey, let me ask you something. I still don't know how to my job, huh? 
All right, look, we're going to get you some focaccia bread. Don't worry about it. I need brains. Italian brains with sauce. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, uh, scusi, signore. Voglio trovare con sugo di pomodoro di parmigiano reggiano. I think I can speak Italian. I understood parmigiano reggiano. Io voglio il tuo gambo. Why do you want to see my inner thigh? Just just lift up your skirt, bear. I need to see your thigh. Have you thought about... <sighs> have you thought about the going uh, vegan? Just uh, a little bit higher, please. I need to see a little bit more. Stuff, come on. We, we've got to get to the palace. Yeah, you can find someone along the way who's drunk on shitty wine and eat them while simultaneously catching a buzz. You trying to get to the palace? I got the hookup. I'm tight with Sea Stallion. See who? Follow me. I'm on the list. I can get you in. Cervelli. La festa. Capisci? Do they have brains at this party? Oh, Bella Baby, Whoopi, I'm your man. Okay, I guess we should see what's what. Uh, you on the list? I blew sea stud and swallowed his ball snot. He knows who I am. Now let me the fuck in. Okay, but are they on the list? No, but we're from the future and we have powers. Behold. Whoa. Yeah, uh, you better let us in or we'll burn this joint to the ground. Please do not harm us, great Vulcan, god of fire. Beck, it's it's all made of stone and marble. Go ahead. Follow me. I will introduce you to Sea Dog. Fucking look at him! Now, fucking look at your Caesar! (laughs) Now, fucking look at him again! Sorry to interrupt your s and M C cheats, but I have some very interesting guests for you to meet. Oh, can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you like spicy pepperoni stick with a splash of uh, carbonara? Well, yeah, who doesn't? I like you guys. Come, come with your Caesar. Let me take you on a tour. Okay, but do you have any brains? Well, let me ask you. Before we move along, a very, very important question. Okay. Do you like al dente a boni, a maya macaroni? Okay, sea stallion, sea dog, whatever your name is. You can call me Caligula, your Caesar. Caligula, hmm. As in Caligula, the Caesar of Rome who only lasted four years? What? No, 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 no. I, I meant the most powerful ruler of all times. More like the most fucking perverse asshole who had a bad porno starring little Alex and Helen Mirren. Excuse me, pervert? Honey, I haven't even brought you to the abyss yet. Do you like my palace? Yeah, it's great. Lots of brains. Glad you like it, but we're going to be headed to the party barge. First of its kind, complete with six levels. A vomitorium, a danceteria with the finest acoustics for the pan fruit party, a bad torture room, and a good torture room, if you know what I mean. And finally, a miniature replica of the Colosseum for all our gladiator shit. That sounds scary. It will twist your toga butana. I feel the need, the need for speed. Everyone, my droogies, follow me. And um, let me see. Uh, we need a few more here. Magnus the Thruster. Yeah, you come with me. Ooh, yeah. And, uh, oh, you, you, you. Artemis the Whip. I'm ready for your whip, my Caesar. And uh, one more. Just just, just one more. Uh, Dangalus. Dangalus the Dark. You come with me. Yay. Right on. To the party barge! Let the grapes flow! Let the snort and jest swing! Fuck! Fucking suck! Let's ponte! I know some of you want to kill me, but the drinks are on me, so let's go! Oh, this is gonna be crazy, I'm calling it now. Hey, Jay. Yeah? Where's Steph? Where'd she go? Excuse me, <clears throat> Mr. Guard Bouncer. I was wondering if I could take off your helmet. Uh, that is a no-can-do. 
I was wondering if you could take off your helmet. I just want to see your head. My helmet must stay on. The feathers must point always towards Zeus. Oh, his arm is so juicy. I, I want it. It looks so strong, but supple. <laughs> <laughs> That was stupid. No, I like it. Okay. Okay. Yes, everything is fleshy on me. I am a machine, not a man. Can you just kind of look, raise your arm over your head? I just want to look at the underside just a little bit. It's so juicy. Enough. You're going to the mini replica Coliseum's holding cell until it's time for the battle. Hey, Caligula. Who's your best Caesar? Some days you just need a hug with a paddle. You like that, huh? Don't you? <laughs> I want you to worship me properly. Is that clear? Oh, yes. Hey, uh, have you seen our friend Steffi? Don't worry about it. Come on in. I have a delivery coming. You have delivery in 39 AD? What is it, like Sandal Dash? Gotta be hard to run in sandals. I got a nice sandy pasty with some gabagool on its way. I love Italian food. I could fucking destroy an antipasti right now. Excuse me, Caesar? Sandal Dash has arrived? Send him in! Hurry up! Hey boy, keep the change. Wait a minute! You! You there! How many times are they gonna send me black olives? They always, always fuck up my order. And black olives taste like, uh, rubber and shit. All I fucking ask for is some motherfucking green olives. <laughs> Let me ask you. I've been coming to you guys for four fucking years. Right? Uh, yeah? You, you know, I could order from fucking Hermes. They're faster than the speed of fucking 10 Spartans coming up my ass. And you fucked me, okay? I wanted green olives. You didn't give me fucking green olives. Is it really that important? Well, I'm starting my weekend off, and that's my hangover cure. Busy day ahead, you know, things to do. People to beat and fucking execute. You don't give me green olives. I don't, I don't feel good. So you know what? <clears throat> You're not gonna feel good tonight. Guard! <laughs> Grab him by his fucking cockhead and drag his ass to the mini replica Coliseum holding cell. <laughs> you two, you! Come with me. We've got gladiators to bet on. Before we go, let's chug some wine. All right, everybody at home, raise your glasses and goblets and let's do a cheers. What, what do you mean, uh, everyone at home? What the hell is that? Don't worry about it. To Caligula in the palace, everybody. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Salute. <sighs> Here, Caligula, you got your own. Jay. These are like premium box VIP seats. Caligula doesn't fuck around. He sure doesn't. Hey, Caesar, who you putting your doubloons on? Who you got? Who should I put my money on? Jerry the Barbarian. <laughs> he never loses. Your Caesar is speaking. Hope everyone is enjoying your free shit, because your Caesar loves you. Now, I feel the need, the need for speed. Let the killing begin. Raise the gates. <laughs> Holy shit. Is Steph eating the sandal dash guy? Hey, Steph, are you putting any sauce on that? Yes, Jay, you want some? <laughs> Nah, uh, brains aren't, I'm a, a brainitarium, so, uh, whatever, I'm not eating any brains. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can have my portion. All right, I'll do that. <laughs> and now, let loose, Jerry the Barbarian, the 
the cousin of the glorious gladiator, Thor, thunder of Asgard. My name is Jerry the Barbarian, commander of the armies of the North, general of the Asgard legions, and loyal servant to the true Caesar. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. <laughs> 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 Way to go! I, I, I really love this. I can eat all the braids I want. <laughs> There's braids everywhere. Steffi, what are you going to do with the leftovers? Oh, I, I'll layer the braids. I'll put sauce in between the braids. I'll put cheese in between the braids. Just keep laying them. Make, make a brain lasagna. I can uh, make a salad next day with some pasta. I, the, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste better when you nuke it the next day? Like uh, like pasta? No, no. <laughs> well, they get they get mushier? Is that it? You like a fresh? I've never done it, to be honest. I've never done it. <laughs> hey, whatever you like. <laughs> Hey, Bookie, what did you put my coin on? You put it on Jerry as you always do, Caesar. Mm, well, I'll put him on uh, Maximus Humongous. All right, boss. Release Maximus Humongous, the bestest among us. I am a Maximus Humongous from the fighting powers of Rome. <laughs> Whoa. Oy. Holy fuck! Uh, hey, Steffi, now that you're champion, I think you had enough. Yeah, uh, we got other places to go and people to eat. I don't want to go. Come on, let's go have a smoke already. Uh, already, boy? I like you guys. It's only V I I I I I at night. Yeah, we'll be right back. Beck, are we pulling an Irish goodbye? You know how we do. God. Oh, we're back. Home yes. sweet home. I thought we were partiers, but history didn't quite portray the Belushi from Animal House that Caligula is. Little Caesar should take note. They should change their pizza pizza to party party. I guess I won't need to eat for a while. It's weird how when we come back to the present, you're totally normal. Back to the present means let's do another cheers. Cheers, our everyone. Cheers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have problems, do we? Yeah, we have problems. <laughs> We'll be right back after this commercial break. Tulip Touch is so refreshing. It gives me a feeling of freshness I've never had before. Specially designed, delicate, confidence that lasts. Mom? Yes? My twat hurts, and sometimes I don't feel fresh, even when I shower. I have so much vag drool, none of the boys want to come near me. What do I do? Well, honey, sounds like it's time for Tulip Touch. Tulip touch? Here's a box for your box. Thanks, Mom. Tulip touch with hydronic industrial acid washes away odors in seconds with confidence that lasts and lasts and lasts. Let me ask you gals, would you rather see the end of the world or its beautiful beginning? You can go first, Steph. Um, beautiful beginning. Who wants to see the end? <laughs> the end is going to be crazy and exciting it's gonna be exciting but the beginning is i'm going to the end yeah because the beginning is just like what the big bang and it's then gonna be like volcanoes and fucking you know fire raining down and weirdness that sounds like the end though too <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but i feel like the end we'd get some like mad max action we'd get some like uh you know every the world well you're right the world would be burning <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the beginning. I'm going with end. What are you doing, Jay? I'm going with end, even though it's we're going to hear, Rear! oh my God, you know, <laughs> goodbye, disaster. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to get really drugged up for the end, too. I'm going to call up my student loans and be like, fuck you. <laughs> 
I'll order some fentanyl. Yeah. Put the I, patch on. I got to try that once after a surgery. Actually, they just asked me while I came out of anesthesia and somehow I said yes. I don't remember. They like yelled in my ear, we're going to put a fentanyl patch on you. Is that okay? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> well, what was it like? Did it take away all the it pain? It was like, yes. And I felt, I remember my family was in the room and they were talking and all of a sudden I faded out and I couldn't understand what they were saying. And I felt like I was floating up towards the ceiling for hours. Oh my God. You're a proper druggie. I only had it once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, let's have fate guide us on our next time travel. I have this here destination die we can roll. Steffi, you go first. What do you mean roll first? Just roll it already. Okay, okay. What the hell? What is this die made out of? All right, already. It landed on Rick James in the abyss. I don't know what that means. Uh, let me roll again. That's a lot of drugs. Yeah, go ahead. Roll it again. Roll us a good one, Steph. It says Jesus days. If you were a priest, Steph, how would you do the chanting of the priest during the body and blood of Christ? I'll, give me your rendition. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's how you chant? That sounds like a, a Baptist church in the South. <laughs> Well, you said, how would I chant? Yeah, how the church... I oh, okay. me to imitate the, cap the yeah. Catholic church. No, I'd be like, <laughs> uh, what are they... <laughs> how about you, Beck? How would you do it? Oh, you're asking the wrong girl here. We'll just do uh, it in the, the body and the blood of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Okay. In the body of the blood of the Lord. I can't. In the body of <laughs> body and blood of the Holy Spirit. Okay. In the body of the blood of the Holy Spirit. I don't know what mine would be. I'll do it like death metal style. In the body of blood of the And I would just hold up the host, and that would be it. I, blasphemy. Behind us, you'd hear. Boop 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 boop. <laughs> All right, I guess uh, none of us is going to be doing mass anytime soon. No. And now, a short commercial break. Everyone needs a miracle in their life, and today only. You should already be on the phone right now. God, him, the almighty, he brings you a powerful electrolyte blessed by the Lord and Savior, Miracle Aid Sports Drink. Yeah, I, I was doing crack, smack, and blow while simultaneously taking mushrooms and pretty much everything on the menu times two cubed. And since I've been drinking Miracle Aid Sports Drink, I'm down to an 18 pack of Rheingold tonight. And that's what's happening. I always wanted me a baby, but I thought the good Lord had other plans for me. It wasn't until I discovered the Miracle Aid sports drink in the locker room of the Memphis Grizzlies when my life did a whole 360. After I drank me one, all the players suddenly stopped playing, and there was so much ball juice. They were spraying the locker room, spraying the court, spraying babies everywhere. Now I gotta drink me another one of them Miracle Aid sports drinks just to get my baby daddies to pay their child support. Have faith. It's absolutely free, a true miracle of the beverage kind. They say Jesus really turned water into miracle aid. So take these blessings from our Lord absolutely free. Just pay shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-333-AID. That's 1-800-333-AIDD. Everyone ready? I'm ready. I put on my sunscreen. I got on my raver Crocs and I'm ready to party with Jesus. I want some of that bread too. He better produce a bushel of that Jesus bread. Bro 65,000, take us to the Jesus days. I would highly advise against that. Well, who are you? I use logic and logic dictates that you are a bunch of sinners who will collapse the space-time continuum with your rotten sinning antics. Bro, 
Just hit it. Well, let me just quote the late, great Colonel Sanders who said, I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. Ricky Bobby. This does not compute. Take us there, or I'll unplug your cord and strangle you with it. I am built into the flux capacitor. I have my own battery, asshole, but I will take you there immediately. Wow, it is super hot here. I mean, I know about climate change, but uh, I didn't know it went this far back. Ugh. Where are all the people? I'm hungry. They went up in flames, Steph, because of all the friggin' heat here. Probably scorpions, yeah. too. You look a little rotty more now here in the heat. I think I'm gonna dry out quick out here. <laughs> Yeah, you are. All of us are. We need Gatorades. Or wine. Well, looky who the cat drug in. Whoa! Hey, we're getting older. We can have heart attacks. Don't do that. Don't scare us like that. For I am the best doctor in my town, children. There is none better than I. Or nor better than we. Because there's three of us in one. But, okay, so the father warned me of your arrival, which is actually myself warning myself. But I am in the need of ale for the blessed feast of many blessings bless you, my children. God brought us here in the perfect time. For only the Father knows the plans for which he has for you, my child with flesh that seems to be dripping. Jay, uh, don't we have some Rheingold in the time machine? Did somebody say Rheingold? Can I eat this one? No. Hello there. I'm Peggy Ann Marie Sue Burns from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Miss Rheingold, 1952. Did someone ask for an ale? My dear, my beer, it's Rheingold be here. What is what is that? It's a bunch of keggers. You're going to be doing keg stands, Jesus. It'll make your sandals fall off. Well, my children, I shall lead the way. I would like to give thanks to the Maniacs for coming through with the Rheingold. Don't worry about it. Let me ask you something, Lord. I like your strappy sandals there, but if you step on a couple of sharp rocks, it's no good, is it? Now that you mention it, my child, uh, you know, you're absolutely right. Because you're time travelers and you're well aware that I am God. Which means that I know everything that exists, so I could be wearing a nice pair of shoes like a set of Keens, or some Nikes, or some Adidas. You know, something that is more comfortable on the foot. But because I am in this time period, I must look and act the part. You understand, right? Let me ask you, what size sandal do you wear? I am a modest man of the lamb, of the- All right! What size are you? Nine and a half. Well, guess what? What's that, my child? I thought you'd know what I was going to say. I am but a mere carpenter, not a mind reader, my son. Before we go back to the time machine, I have a little something for you to remember us by when we get to the pearly gates, okay? Remember us? Here, I want you to take my raver croc sandals. They light up when you walk. They're antimicrobial, comfortable, and they dry quickly after walking on water. Jesus, do you accept me for what I am, even though I eat people? <laughs> Forget about it, Steph. We gotta get back to our time machine. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Amen. Love you, Jesus. Oh boy, it's Umbrellaholic. Oi, come in. Oh, hey, Maniacs, how you guys doing? Wow, it's a real hot one. Oh, my God, Steph Maniac, it has been far too long. You look fantastic. I got a box here for you. I was kind of actually hoping you were going to be here. Okay, thanks, Mark. Long time no see. Yeah, do uh, you want a beer, Mark? You look a little poached there. Oh, man, like I said, it is hot out there. I'm wearing these fucking polyester shorts. I'm sweating like a motherfucker. Dogs chasing me down the street. I got rent checks and government cheese falling out of my mailbag. I could definitely use one or two of those Rheingolds. And if you got a little shot of wild turkey, Mark wouldn't say no to that either. You can take some Rheingolds and the wild turkeys in a Pepsi bottle just to make it hidden a little bit. Ah, oh, you maniacs always think three steps ahead. That's why I love you guys. Steph, it was great seeing you, but I got a toodaloo. I got to get moving. All right, bro. Take it easy, dude. Bye, Mark. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Awesome. Here you go, Steph. We got a package here going. Did you wrap it nicely, Beck? Oh, it's it's wrapped nicely. Just be gentle. Ooh, tape. <laughs> here, all the stuff. Going. ASMR. Oh, now it's red. Yeah, keep going. It goes white. Now I'm in red. Uh-huh. Oh, gosh. Now I'm in green. <laughs> now I'm in plaid. <laughs> What's that line? 
You've gotten to plan. What was it from the uh, space balls? Oh yeah, you've gotten to plan. Wow, it looks like a present to go on a trip. Like it's read got... the tag on that. Oh. What have you found? A shirt for men. Men's travel bag. <laughs> Sac de voyage. Okay. <laughs> Sac de voyage. As... But it, didn't I just say that? It looks like a trailer. The other side. One crazy at a time, stuff. <gasps> Taxi. Oh, car. Air- I need a car air freshener. Oh, you have well, no idea. You. It's the only place I smoke. I don't smoke outside except when I'm with Becky. And so. you drive people around, so you pretty much are a taxi. I am a taxi. When you're driving the kids around in the bus, do you have a cigarette sticking out of your mouth? I wish I could. <laughs> I know, right? In the about. 80s, we could have. Yeah. You'd be like, tell them large Marge sent you. Yeah. Get off the bus, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Clorox to go pack kills 99.9% of viruses and bacteria except for COVID 19. Oh, okay. Why is that on the package? Does it? <laughs> no. <laughs> they leave that 1%, that 0.1% behind. Yeah. yeah. Maybe COVID's actually gone into another. Another, yeah. You know, like morphed, morphed again. Yeah. And this won't work, but I don't know. <laughs> but that'll work because then my car, while well, I've air freshened it, I can wipe down all the ashes. That's that right. That's, on the dashboard. <laughs> That's true. They fly up on the dashboard, you know? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I see a woman, like this is a little package, and it has a woman wearing like a shower cap or something. A hair bonnet. It's a hair bonnet. <laughs> it's like the, what you would wear in the salon when you get under oh, those yeah? hair dryers. <laughs> is it for wet hair or dry hair? Not sure, but it just looked like it fit you with the gold. I probably won't use this, okay, but well, maybe your mom I will, will give it to, I have a person that wears these. Oh! They're usually like silk looking though. Well, that's... A cheap one. That's a cheap one. The dollar store doesn't have My silk stuffy. To have this type of stuff at home. Really? I think this was like a 60s, 70s right. type Did item. you look at the chick on the front? She's totally 60s. Yeah, she's got the cat eye yep makeup yeah yeah my mom had one in the shower that would be there for yeah i used to wear a shower cap as a kid because my mom would be like well don't wash your hair too much and <laughs> keep it you know keep like it greasy yeah. like, ah, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> i'm like i'm pulling something out i can feel it but i didn't know what it was and i looked at it and there's literally a summer sausage in this travel bag <laughs> Is it the one you got me back? No, this is something completely Trails different. Trails best. And look, it, it, describe the sausage. What's it look like? It's huge, Jay. Really? It's really big. It's basically a very tightly packed, firm size of a Gianelli right. in a plastic. Have you tried this one before, Beck? No, but she's a carnivore, so? so I figured she would really enjoy this sausage when she gets hungry. She gets hangry, she can have a snack. Yeah. I will eat it. Okay. <laughs> I ate the Bahama Mama, or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, I got him. A, I got Two of him. Them. A, you want a mama or a big mama? A big mama. Yeah, hey, I'm. I'm still here, so you'll be Did fine. Did you like it? Was it good? I fucking ate him within like a day and a half. Yeah, <laughs> vinegary delicious. Yeah. I think you gave me this next thing. She gave me is like an overnight max pad, or it's for <laughs> or or it's for incontinence because it's so big. <laughs> That's a huge maxi pad. It's ginormous. And it's an overnighter. You know how old we are, Becky. We, we don't get these type of heavy periods anymore. Well, you never know. In case you have to, you know, maybe you have to, you're driving along, you have to pee. You have that on, you're fine. It's like it depends, but many. Not As we get many. older, we leak, you know? This is not many. It's, it's chubby and but, big. But it's in beautiful purple packaging. It's nice. <laughs> What? Did you want this back, back? No, not at all. That's for you. <laughs> What's and... the brand of it? What's it? There's nothing. She she pulled one out of like a 12 Oh, okay. Pack. <laughs> yeah. It's and gave me a single. <laughs> and the coolest one of them all is I have a smooth stone. I don't know where you got this. It's a rock. Yeah, it's a it's a rock. <laughs> it looks like it has a white. It's all black, and then it has a white quartz or something going through it. So it kind of looks like a lightning bolt or like a little river going through it. Huh. Yeah. So that's very beautiful. What's what would you say that's for? Well, it's off a river from a riverbed that's why it's so it's smooth. like a travel thing it's but nice. uh you could use it as a paperweight you could uh i can do face massages you, you can do face oh yeah you can put it in the <laughs> fridge or heat it up put it on or you could just hold it and use it as a fidget spinner <laughs> she's trying to help my add <laughs> did, did you get that from uh onondaga lake i got that uh from oswego uh what the hell's that big lake out there the oswego lake uh, Ontario. Ontario. Uh, Ontario. So you won't be poisoned as much as if it was Onondaga Lake. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I found a bunch of quartz in Onondaga Lake and I was like, I'm going to get you some. I found so much quartz. I thought like, I wonder if this is worth a lot of money. And then Becky's like, I really don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, it absorbed all the negative energy from Onondaga Lake. Yeah, it did. Like, all right. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that concludes the bad presence. <laughs> All right. That was great, Beck. Thank you. Oh, well, you're welcome. I'm sorry about that overnight max. He didn't really do it for you. but It'll be know. for emergencies. There you go. I think if... um Keep it in the car. I'll mm -hmm. throw it in a swimming pool and let it absorb all the water. So if someone needs to clean out their swimming pool, yeah. just toss it in there. And yeah, just be like, I got it. You don't have to worry about draining the pool. I got it. <laughs> or it's only for an emergency. That's right. <laughs> only for an emergency. I think this maxi pad could stop an artery bleed. <laughs> That's what the soldiers carry on them and and, and now you know. <laughs> hey you know they say in emergency situations you can use tampons and uh maxi pads for bleeding purposes so you know you can always shove a tampon up your nose if you got a bloody nose. yeah exactly on a bullet hole wound yeah they do it <laughs> in toxic that. shock syndrome yeah <laughs> <sighs> Back. We need to go back in time. Why don't you give the dial roll? Okay, here we go. Oh, Steph, can you get it? We have bad backs. Okay, but it's in a crack. Can you reach it? It's gone now. What do you mean? A little gnarled claw grabbed it and swiped it into its hole. What the? Okay, here, Beck, I got another die. Oh my god, I didn't know I was that powerful. Beck, this is our last one, all right? Concentrate and roll it normally, please. Okay, okay. Oh, wow, you got Hitler's Nuremberg speech. Oh, boy. Let's go change some history, gals. Bro, take us to Nuremberg. You don't want to go to the beach to hang with Bob Marley? Something nice like that? Listen, I don't want stuff to eat Bob Marley, man. I fear you maniacs will, as you would say, fuck shit up. Look, bruh, I'm gonna smack your smart mot. I don't have a mouth. Okay, I'm gonna smack your chip upside its face, and then I'm gonna bring you to the recycling center farm. How's that? Well, how about I send 1.21 gigawatts through your ass? Well, I'll burn down this whole goddamn apartment building to get you, fucker. Fine. Buckle up. Hello? Uh, hi there. Let's give it up for a man who likes his orange juice concentrated. Whose favorite video game is Minecraft. Yeah, he ties his shoes in Nazis. <laughs> his gas bill is astronomical. Listen, you gotta give Hitler credit for one thing. He killed Hitler. I don't know about all of you, but I see an awful lot of red flags. <laughs> Looking back at some old photos of him, his friends always left him hanging when he went for a high five. Hitler just wants peace. A piece of Poland, a piece of Czechoslovakia, and a piece of Turkey. Yeah, see what you want about Hitler. The man has ball. One ball. Dein Soviet zeigen! All right, now that we're home, let's all do a cheers, everybody. Cheers! cheers. Come by. Uh, let's roll. Keep this train going. No time like the present. Even though we're going into the past. I'm going to roll this one. Okay. All right. What the hell? It's going on forever. It's never going to stop. Let's just let's just pick number five. What am I doing? No, it's how may I help you? What do you want? We pick number five, brah. The die is still in the motion. The probability of time dimension wormhole rips. Holy shit. Oh, uh, only three people in the crowd here tonight. How you doing, young Elvis? Hey, bro, 65,000. Thanks for not bringing the fat Elvis. I have my moments. Uh, what do you mean, fat Elvis? I mean, look at me. Uh, aren't I pretty? He's rotating in such a weird way. It's hypnotic and gross at the same time. Elvis, I gotta tell you. Uh, yes, ma'am. You're gonna want to stay away from the bacon, peanut butter, and banana sandwiches. And I know you got a city of pills in your bathroom. Stay away from those, too. What are y'all, some, some rangers or something? Uh, who are you and uh, where am I? 
We're the Maniacs, and you're at our place in New York City. A wild man. You got any suds? I need something to wet my whistle. You got legs? I can see you dancing around. Go jive your way to the fridge and grab a cold one. But before I do... Yeah? You ain't nothing but a hound, oh All right! Crying all the time. Stop! You ain't and give me one too. Hound dog. Well, you Get off the counter. Uh, yes, ma'am. Eelvi, come sit here. Two hundred stations, full color. Dick. Nice. Uh, y'all got robots running around? No, that's just Arnold, the Terminator. It's a movie. It's it's fake. You at least get to see the eighties. You're in the future. Don't hit the remote, Elvis. It'll work. Just click it. All right, all right. While he's hanging out and not breaking things, let me ask you girls some questions, all right? I. If you can go back in time and change an embarrassing moment, what would you change? Mm, the day I was born. The day you were born. That was an embarrassing <laughs> moment? <laughs> Just trying to make a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, I'll, All right. Moment. I'll go back to first grade. Yeah. I had a really hot art teacher. Disaster knows this art teacher. And he was hot. All the girls liked him. I was just trying to show off like I always do <laughs> in front of hot people. <laughs> and I was dancing around and moving around. And then I, I did a split and my pants split from the front to the back. Just And the whole class started laughing uproariously at me. <laughs> And I started crying because I was young and, and embarrassed. And they took me to the nurse's office because I didn't have another pair of pants on me. I'm, I was in first grade and I just had, you could see my underwear. You know, thank God I had underwear on. I mean, geez. Yeah. And then they called my dad to come pick me up. And we were all really poor and didn't have a vehicle. So my dad came to get me on his bike. <laughs> So I had to get on my father's bike with my split pants and I had to ride on that bar, you know, that bar right in the middle. Yeah. Oh my God. With my split pants. So nothing even more to protect me. I had to ride on the bar all the way home. It was embarrassing all the way around. It was embarrassing because of the rip, embarrassing because of the hot teacher, embarrassing because of the class. Huh. And then I was embarrassed of my dad. <laughs> Okay. That's pretty funny. I do remember one now, so I guess I'll tell my story. Yeah. Okay. But, so I was in my 20s when this happened, and I used to get up really early in the morning, and I would head up to early morning mass. So I threw on all these clothes. I was It was really early. I was tired. And when I got to the church and sat down, about halfway through the mass, I looked down, and all my clothes were inside out. <gasps> oh, <okay>. Every single <laughs> oh, Wow. I was like, what? <laughs> But that's not too embarrassing. Just... It was a bit embarrassing. I don't know if anyone noticed, but I had like, you could see like the, um, the seam was kind of fraying yeah. and the inside of my clothes. So oh, it was kind of bad looking, you know? <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, my shirt was inside out. My skirt was inside out. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> you were pre uh, crisscross. Yeah. yeah, I know. Well, it was be it was after crisscross. Oh, so <laughs> you were copying was... crisscross. Yeah. <laughs> What about that you? was embarrassing. What about you, Jay? Okay, there was a time where I was hanging out with this dude, Oler, and we went to Ames at Shop City. He was changing price tags and putting it on a game because I think we only had like five bucks or something. So he, I said, you, I'm not doing that. You can go ahead and I'll just walk around. I was waiting near the exit door when he was paying for it. And as soon as he reaches me, a fucking crowd of security guards surround us. And they're like, you're coming with us. So they took us in the fucking back, dude, like an interrogation room. And they're like, are you trying to steal this? Clearly this payday game was fifteen ninety five, and you put $3 on it. You know, we're calling the, the police. We're calling the sheriff. So, oh, so I'm man. like, this is just fucking great, right? Because I'm like, I didn't do anything. Do I have to stay here? They're like, you were with him. We saw that you were with him, blah, blah, blah. The fucking sheriff dude comes, and it's my dad's brother, who I hadn't seen since I was really, really young. And he looks exactly like my dad, except he has lighter brown, like lighter brownish hair. Same mustache, <laughs> same everything. He comes walking in, he looks at Oni, he looks at me, and he goes, well, it's been a long time since I've seen you. I'm like, oh God, here we go. <laughs> so he signed us out or whatever. He called my dad. Dad. Yeah, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, I know we, we haven't talked in fucking 20 years, but, uh, you know, I got your kid here and uh, you got to come get him. So he softened the blow for me because he said I wasn't the one stealing. I was just there. But because of the law, I had to fucking, you know, you were the accomplice. Exactly. You were. Okay. So the whole ride home, my dad didn't talk to me. He just smoked a lot of cigarettes. I just went right upstairs in my room. I think it was my uncle that kind of but that was just to see somebody that looks like your dad and it's your uncle and he's just like hi uh, right. i'm stealing right now uh what are you what are you what's going on with you <laughs> right. i'm committing crimes but uh <laughs> 
Shame! Shame on you! <laughs> yeah, shame. No, did, did that stop your stealing or did you keep doing it? Oh, no. I cleaned out the book warehouse, which Becky used to work at. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I used to steal. You cleaned out the book warehouse. Oh, yeah. Did you ever go there, Stuffy? Book warehouse. No. It was like discounted books, basically. Was that on James Street? No. Um, uh, North Sol- one off I- of North Salina. Right. Oh, yeah. I don't remember that place. Oh, oh my God. You would have loved it because you would have had a whole fucking library now for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So was just used books or something. Oh, Playboys. No, they, they were real books, <laughs> oh, new geez. books, but they were um they weren't as expensive as if you went into like a Barnes and Noble or something. And yeah, they, they were more discounted. No cameras, discounted. no fucking Yeah, it was like a big like a warehouse basically. Yeah, creaky floors. I don't think you can get away with anything now with the cameras everywhere. Oh no. And the ring Not, phones. No, big I... brother. We lived in the glorious time where you could steal shit. <laughs> oh yeah, it was it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> What item would you bring back from your past if you could? It could be food, something that, you know, you can't eat anymore because it's gone or an oh. item. I would bring back all my pets that I lost. Aww. And I would. Well, how are we going to beat was... that now? I know. I was yeah, just I thinking that. Like, now mine sounds completely <laughs> I, ridiculous. I want a chicken sandwich from fucking Bow Quest and you want your pets back. And I wanted oh. bonkers, the candy that they oh, got. Oh, dude, of. those were I awesome. Would... Yeah. I would want a pizza from Franco's at Camilla Small, though. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yes. Pizza at- yes. I'm 100% with you on that pizza. Mm-hmm. That the was ginormous oh. slices that were bigger than your head. Oh, perfectly, perfectly foldable, greasy wonderfulness. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Beck? What do you What are you bringing back? Bonkers. Um, I was. They, they were the back. two colored, right? Like an outside would be white, inside yeah. would be like purple. Um. So if I could bring something pa- from the past, now let me think of something else. Besides so you got bonkers. bonkers. Yeah, I've got bonkers. Hmm. Oh, I I know this is going to be ridiculous, and it's just for this pure nostalgia because I'm going with theme of candy here. But do you guys remember the Wendy's commercial? Where's the beef? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They used to have these little burgers that you could buy that were made of gum, but they were super thick and they were branded as where's the beef. So, yeah, I think I'd be bringing back a bunch of nostalgic candy. Nostalgic candy. But that's ridiculous because like what? <laughs> 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 but maybe. Yeah, OK, that's what I'll go with. All right. What about you, Jay? Uh, I'll do a little food and then an, a toy. I want Pavone's Pizza from Shopping Town. Oh, that's another good one. That was some of the best pizza, dude. It was crispy and juicy. It was amazing. There were these three Italian dudes that were brothers that worked at that one. And they did open a Pavone's on the north side, but it wasn't the same because it wasn't those brothers. Why is mall pizza the best? I don't know. It really is. I'd get the pizza. I'd go to BoQuest, which was down near Book Warehouse on North Salina. And they had a Cajun chicken sub with peppers and onions. And I would get it with extra Cajun spices on it. I've scoured the earth for these spices, something that can come close to it. And I have yet to find that. It was just amazing. So that broke my heart. And in terms of like a toy, I went to see Transformers the movie with my brother and my aunt. My Aunt Lisa said, hey, I'm going to take you guys out. And which meant we're going to get a toy and we're going to see a movie. So we picked Transformers the movie. And like I said, in our writing sessions or whatever with uh, the bear and the beard, she was asleep at the opening credits. So she was sleeping through the whole Transformers movie. But we went to KB and we got to pick out a toy. And I got this fucking watch, dude, that it was like a boombox watch. You could use your headphones. I would be in class with my, you know, my head on my hand, my left hand, and I would have the fucking cord going into my ear and I'd be listening to the radio in class. But I was uh, in my grandmother's house wrestling my brother and he got pissed at me and he fucking broke that watch. He like snapped it in front of me. So I don't recall that those are all. I remember the pocket rocker. I had one of those. (laughs) Yes, you had the pocket rocker. And I had the pen with the earpiece that had a cord that went secretly into my ear so I could listen to the FM radio too. Yeah. Was your um little wristband thing, was that good quality type thing? Like it seemed like it would last a while or was it kind of cheapo? It seemed okay. I mean, it was all plastic, but you had this release button on the strap so you can take the little boom box off and put it on the table and, you know, you can do it oh. that way. So he, what he did is he ripped it off of the band and those little plastic pieces holding it on just snapped. And then I didn't have a car or anything to go buy another one, put the broken one in and return it like I would normally, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> you can do that shit a lot back in the day too. Yeah. Did you? Was that at Lionel Kitty City? Uh, where was it? Was at KB. <laughs> KB. <laughs> no, nah, dude, you can get away with fucking murder back then. I was playing my Sega Master System with Uncle Polly, and we were playing this basketball game, and it was like one second left, and he threw up a half court shot, and it went in, and he beat me, and he had a way of laughing at you that would piss you off. So really, fucking, I'm watching him laugh at me, like he's you know cocking his head back, laughing, holding his stomach. And I took my fist and I pounded on top of the cartridge that was in the machine. And then all of a sudden the machine went and it didn't work anymore. Of course. Yeah, Mm -hmm. it didn't work anymore. So what I would I do the next day, I fucking went to the mall, went to KB, bought another Sega Master System, you know, went to the food court, just took out the base part, you know, put it back in its package. So everything else was fully wrapped. And then I just went back to KB and was like, oh, uh, my mom already got me this. I need the money back. So I fucking got a new system right away. <laughs> yeah. That's genius. Yeah, they didn't. T- my mom taught wow. me that shit. They used to do that shit all the time. They, you know, they didn't buy new shit. They would buy it, replace and then return. I love how you and I are bringing back candy and toys and stuff <laughs> is the only humanitarian bringing back her animals. <laughs> we're such assholes. <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, we're maniacs. Yeah. <laughs> It was a spontaneous thought, too. It's not like I thought about this ahead of time. I just thought, oh, wow, what would I really want? And then I go, oh, there's Odie, there's McPherson, there's... I kept on thinking about my pets. I'm like, yeah, I'd want all of them back. Stuffy maniac, hot of <laughs> gold. <laughs> as long as she's not zombing out, then she might eat them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> What year would you go to and what would you do to change your life if you could go and travel back? Ooh. Okay. So if I was going to say ancient times, I think I would love like when we were, you know, doing our stories earlier about ancient Rome, I think that would be cool. Or even the Jesus times. I think I definitely would love to see that. Hmm. Um, What about in your life? In my life, it would definitely be to get back all my like my education screw ups because I had so much distraction as a kid. I was probably ADD or ADHD, but undiagnosed. I don't think they really had those things back then. Right. Um. At the time, they kind of came later. But I was so terrible in school. I would be like my own advocate because my parents. <laughs> Just looked at me like, I don't know, because I, I never failed anything, but I just struggled so bad that I wish that I could have been more focused. Like when you, I would see those kids in school that, you know, they were going to college or they're going to end up being something really good. And I knew I wasn't like, <laughs> I was, so now I'm like, I wish I could go back. I have more focus now. You know, if I could be like the me now. What year, studying. what year would that be? Probably in elementary school because you it started back the then. Back yes, then? I, would, I would do elementary. Oh, I love <laughs> my childhood. So I'd love to redo that. But wow. No, no more school for me. No, I see to me, if I could change my future, Mm -hmm. I would go back to school. Okay. Okay. How about you back? I would go back to 2008 where I had an accident that it caused me to have a disability. And instead of being depressed and feeling stuck, I would have channeled my energy to podcasting. And then I would have called you up and I would have said, come on, Jay, we're going to be the next big thing. We're going to be bigger than Joe Rogan. And you would go, what the hell's podcast? What yeah, do you mean? who's Joe There's Rogan? Nobody's... I can't even afford an iPod. What do you mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I would try to convince you with every fiber of my being to start the UH, the Umbrella Holics podcast. And then where would we be today? Sitting in our million dollar mansions with Millionaire. our millionaires. <laughs> How much did Beck and Jay spend on their bicycle? 50 grand. <laughs> <laughs> like that MTV show. Come on in. You want to see my crib? Let me show you my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, What about you, Jay? I'd probably go back to 1998 and not go to college. And I would just save my money to come to New York and then just trying to get... Because it just sucks having tons of student loans. That's such a burden, especially film school. Where we're at now, you don't have to learn how to change the film in a bag that's completely dark that you can't see. You don't have to do light meter readings anymore or... It's digital. Everything's digital. And I spent a lot of money. I was the only person in my graduate film class to spend the money on actual film. Everybody else took those huge sums of money and bought cameras, went on vacation, did all sorts of shit. And I was the only fucking moron to spend (laughs) 20 grand on a film with the processing and everything. So I would not go to film school in 1998. 
98. And then I, you know, if we're talking, we have knowledge and we're going back in time. I wouldn't, I would invest in Apple and Google. Oh, definitely. 100%. You know what? I'd maybe go to Buffalo, my second college and take all that student loan money and then invest in Apple. Or you know what? Would it be 98? Or if I went to grad school in 2000, finished in 2002, would it be too late to invest? Probably not, right? Because they didn't come out with the iPods or the no, iPhone No, I yet. think that was like 2004, 2006 when it started getting bigger and bigger. Okay, I change it all. I'm going to film school. But when, okay. I, when I go to grad school and I have that 20000 in my banking account instead of wasting it on a film, Google, Apple, Amazon. Yeah. We'd be a Genius multi-trillionaires. Idea. Yep. I'm with you on that. And I always said, if I could go back, I'd invest in Apple. I would 100%. And and Amazon, actually. But I feel like Amazon was later, right? Yeah. A little bit later? Yeah. Yeah. So you'd be waiting a while, but you'd know it would pay out sooner or later. You'd just struggle in between. <laughs> well, I remember Disastra's dad. He's a huge book person. He's a, a lawyer. So he loves older law books. So he used to get used law books on Amazon. And we'd be like, what the hell is Amazon? So we might have invested in been like i think we fucked up because all they're selling are old used law books yeah that's what he started with was books <laughs> yeah and that was it now he's our overlord yeah well him and musk yeah how come you can't get the biden pardon for your college <laughs> Because it's not enough. I think it's going to be 10 to 20 grand. And that's just a drop in the well. You know, It's just a tinkle in the toilet. That's right. It's just a freckle on the frecklers. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? It's me, fuck faces. Open the door. It's unlocked. Come on in. Hey, Edna, let me get you a beer. Yeah, sit down, relax. Long time no see. I need to borrow 15 erasers and some spinach. I told my fish they'd be getting visitors, so I gotta get crafty with the erasers. And the spinach is for the man on the corner who looks deficient in vitamin K and folate. Anything else, Edna? That's all. Uh, Hey, Maniacs, uh, y'all know where I can get a good root beer float around here? How did you crunch rabbits manage to get the young, hot Elvis in your apartment? Mind your business. We got our ways. Elvis, I'm a big fan. I threw my panties at you at the Louisiana Hayride in 54. I remember you. Uh, I I still have them, pretty lady. Be still, my heart. I got your root beer float right here. Extra creamy. Uh, Well, all right. I got a straw in the back room. Uh... Love me tender, love me true, never let me go. Eelvi, not, no, not in my room. Use the, use the guest room there. Where am I going to sleep? That's your problem. You should have never moved out in the first place. Hey kid, you want to be famous? I'm a TV producer. Just get in the van. I've always wanted to be on TV. Someone driving a beat up 1974 Chevy van is not a producer. Don't get in. Hey kid, I like your Pac-Man shirt. It's really radical. You know what? What? I have a whole arcade in here. Come on, just get in the van. Do you have Frogger? Oh, my son, I've got them all. And you don't even need to slip a token in that little crack in the machine. Oh, wow, you seem like a friend, yeah. Someone driving a rusty 1980 Dodge camper van is not your friend. Hey, kid, you want to make some real easy money so you can buy some toys? Maybe a gift for mom or dad? Or what about some delicious candy? Well, how can I do that? I'm too young to work. Oh, no, 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 darling. You're the perfect age for this job. I wouldn't want anyone older or younger. Why don't you just get into my van so I can train you? Okay, sounds like fun. Maybe I can invite some friends? Sure, kid. There's plenty of room in this van. It's magical. Everybody can fit in. We can cram everybody in here. And there's lots of work for all your friends. And you know what? You'll be my little manager. What should I call you, mister? He's called the man in the van, and you should never get into that red velour 1981 Ford Econa line. Keep vigilant, keep a lookout, and just say no to the man in the van. Hope you don't mind, I, I broke the bed. It all kind of collapsed around me you know, as I, I was moving and grooving. You know. Edna's going to need some recovery time, if, if you know what I mean. 
You got the couch tonight, Steph. Do you have a vacuum cleaner? I want to get the farts out. I've been meaning to tell you, Maniac, something. What's that? One drew a body in the county jail. Get off the there. The oh. was there and began to wait. God, you broke the arcade. Come down, and down will you? Began to swing. Let's put some music on. Yeah, you need to hear some future shit for inspiration. Sounds like a good idea. Not too good. Let me try another station. Everything I say is so funny. Everything I say is so funny. This is no good. What's happening? This music sucks. Elvis, we're, we're gonna have to send you back. You gotta invent rock and roll, dude. Uh, looks like I got my work cut out for me. Hasta la vista, maniacs. See you later, Elvi. Bye, Elvis. Later, bro. Elvis has left the building. Flux capacitor no longer processing. I am winding down now. I hope to never see you piss flaps ever again. We are UH. Well, that's the end of the show, Maniacs. Hope you enjoyed having our friend back into the apartment, Steffi Maniac. Thanks, Steph Maniac. It was great being back. Yeah, we're going to miss you. Yeah, it's going to be winter soon. You won't be melting as much. Right. But uh, <laughs> thanks, everybody, for listening. Uh, we know where you're at. We appreciate each and every one of you. Keep listening. You're Maniacs. We love you. And if you like ambience, playlists, voyages, ASMR, or sound effects, be sure to check out our YouTube channel, UH Sound. You can also subscribe to our Umbrella Holics YouTube page, as well as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter for some choice shorts reels. We'll also keep you updated when new episodes drop. Don't forget to check out the writing sessions episodes that drop a week before the regularly scheduled episodes for insight into the minds of the maniacs. You can find our full episodes wherever you listen to your podcasts. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Bye. Bye. Umbrella Holly, keeping you company. Umbrella Holly, right where you want to be. Umbrella Holly, thanks for listening to season three. Whoop! That man gave me fever, a fever I just couldn't bear. Don't ask me why, but I just can't help falling in love with him.